Hello, hello. Hey, welcome to this week's Tuesdays with Terica. Our topic for today is being still in the silence. Stay tuned. I hope you enjoy. As I've already said, we are going to be talking about being still in the silence. Okay, um, had another aha moment because, you know, as I kind of think some things through, I like to share it with you guys. Just, you know, just a source of topic. But, um, you know, I was, I was thinking, just kind of meditating um, on how awesome is it in the silence. Um, sometimes it can be a good thing. Sometimes it can be a not so good thing. Um, but you're always wanting to be able to connect. And sometimes when there is silence from the Lord or there is a stillness, um, that we are to go through in life, it's uncomfortable. Uh, and it's uncomfortable because, you know, we like to move and shake and do some things and, uh, have some things that we feel we're being productive in. But sometimes just being still in the silence of life really helps propel you to another level. Okay, so I'm going to um, kind of share some stuff with you that we've probably talked about before. But, you know, anyway, here we go. So in transitioning from um, being married and to being single, uh, there was um, a lot of times when the quiet was too silent. Uh, where I didn't like the silence of life because that made me feel uh, alone. Actually, it made me feel alone. But then as I started in the transition of things, I remember that um, the silence actually became a calming place. Um, and it was not silence from the Lord per se. We'll get to that in a minute. But it was just the quiet of the peace of um, the day to day being uh, away from the stress of life, um, the activities of work, um, the conversations from family and friend, just to rest in my own mind. Right. And so then it became a place of solitude, a place of healing and a place of deliverance. But what I've noticed is that a lot of times when people have the silence, they think of it as a negative. Now, by no means am I saying that if God is not speaking to you or if you're not getting the words of encouragement that you need from him, that you should be okay with that. Nope. Probably need to revisit where you are in your heart, mind, and in your spirit, in your relationship with the Lord um, he will be silent at some time, but you just need to make sure that you're staying the course uh, to know whether it's a time of transition or if you shift. OK, so we're going to leave that right there. But my projective uh, conversation for today is I found healing in the quiet. I found peace in the quiet. I found victory in the quiet. But it wasn't easy because I like to go. I like to be busy. I like to, um, one of my gifts is the gifts of help. And uh, so, you know, I'm always trying to find somebody that I can do something with or for, you know, whatever. Uh, whether it's a client, whether it's um, whoever, whoever, however it works. And so there was periods of time where there was nothing. There was period of times when I wanted to have conversation that I couldn't have conversation. Um, I have my my core group of um, most of most of them, if not all, are believers. But my core group, um, I would want to share different things with them, but I couldn't. I had to be still and to be silent. So one of the scriptures that um, came to mind that I would just like to share with you guys really quickly 
is um, Psalms 46 and 10. And it says, he says, be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. And so that was a, a place where I was able to kind of draw from. And it, what does that mean? It means that no matter what the chaos is around you, no matter what the situation is around you, no matter how you may feel internally about how you want to react to the situation, um, just be still. Just rest in the silence. Know that God has put you in a place for a reason. It may be a season. It may be a couple of days. It might just be long enough to see if you will be obedient to where he's leading you and where he's taking you. Um, again, my, my journey was in me reconnecting with me. Me having the opportunity to rest in my mind about where I was in life, how I was going to uh, transition from one place to the next, what did life look for me moving forward? And in the quiet of life, uh, in the quiet, those, those quiet places, those quiet seasons that I had to go through, which again, it was just my journey. Um, I had to really just rest in the Lord, but he allowed me to reconnect with me. He allowed me to, um, do some things for me different than what I normally would have done because I was seeing things different. Doors was opening on my behalf that allowed me an opportunity that I didn't have uh, before. And so it can be a blessing. But for any of my sisters or my brothers who might be watching, and you're not in a place of where you can really take advantage of the place of silence. Um, again, this is not particularly about the Lord not speaking to you because that's your journey. That's a place where you have to know that you have to hear his voice for yourself. But I'm, I'm just speaking to the one that there is the, um, the place of you're not being comfortable with who you are. And the silence rings louder because you're not comfortable with who you are, because you have disconnected with yourself, because you don't know who you are anymore. I, my suggestion to you is take a moment, take a day, take a week, rest in the silence. We don't always have to be with friends. We don't always have to be on our phones. We don't always have to be running here and there. I had to learn that, you know, that was, that was my journey. I had to learn that, but it's so much more when you have and take the opportunity to trust who you are, to start liking yourself again, um, to be able to rebuild those things within you that have been crushed and bruised and hurt and, um, that made you angry, that could possibly make you bitter. But if you sit in silence long enough and you allow the Lord to really minister to your heart, then there is, is such a peace and a calm that comes over you that you're healed before you even realize that something has transpired that you may not have been aware of or even looking for. I am wanting to encourage everyone today to trust the process, to just be still. We don't have to make every party, every movie, every dinner invitation, uh, every cookout. We don't have to be involved in every single thing in life that comes our way. Because sometimes the best thing is to just go for a walk by yourself. Take a drive by yourself. Sit on your porch by yourself. Whatever it is that you like, do it and do it alone so that you have an opportunity to reconnect with who you are and who God created you to be. Because it's in those secret times that he's able to minister to you in a different way. And you know, a lot of times, you know, we're always looking for God to speak through a word, through his word to 
audibly hear him. And yes, he can do all of that. But sometimes it's just a feeling. It's just an unction that if you just sit in the moment long enough, you will get it. He will reveal something to you and you'll get it. It makes sense. It's, it's like it comes alive to you and you're like, well, dang, how come I ain't never thought about that before? Because you've been running too much. <laughs> because sometimes we're so busy that we miss the simple things of life. But while we are in this season, while we are in still in the season of spring, and you know spring, I love spring because it's new life. It's the, the fresh smell of the flowers and the lavender and the grass looks like it's just so green because you know it's been dormant for so long or whatever. I am so excited because that gives me new hope. It gives me a, a freshness. It gives me a new start and a new beginning for the year. But I don't want to run so fast and I don't want to move so much that I miss the quiet times of just sitting alone and just understanding my thoughts, understanding what God is speaking to me, how he is leading me, how he is guiding me. And then once he has given me what I need, then I can go and be a part of whatever it is that I need to be a part of. But sometimes you have to miss some things to get it. That's all. Sometimes you have to miss some things to get it. So if you are in a season of where you are dreading the silence, where the quiet is driving you crazy, rest in the silence. Rest in the quiet. Rest in knowing that God is preparing you for something greater. And if you don't get it this time, probably going to have to go through it again. So get it this time. Just take your time. Take a couple walks by yourself. Read a book. Uh, meditate. Listen to some music. Everything doesn't have to be rap. It can if you want it to be. I'm just saying. But just something to soothe your spirit. Something that can bring you some joy and some comfort. Um, do those things and allow God to minister to you. Because even in the midst of chaos, even in the midst of foolishness, he said, be still and know that I am God. I got this and I got you. Hey guys, you know it's my prayer that you were able to get just a little something today. Um... You know what? We we are um, honoring Farrah Fawcett today. Don't know how long Farrah's going to last. <laughs> but for those of you young people who don't know who Farrah Fawcett is, okay, she was one of the original Charlie's Angels. Uh, but anyway, you know, we, we still transitioning with our locks. So, you know, once we get there, we're going to we're going to do it up. Okay. <laughs> Okay, I hope you guys have really enjoyed today. I hope you are enjoying the, the episodes that we've been bringing. We've got some great people coming, some great people lined up. But you know, you'll have me from time to time, okay? <laughs> okay, guys, I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful week. I love you to life. I have sponsored today's episode because I'm a real estate agent with Century 21 Blackwell & Company. I am going to be soliciting um, other sponsors as well shortly. Uh, we've got some new things coming that I think everyone is going to enjoy. And so I just, again, ask for your prayers. Okay, guys, enjoy your week. See you soon.